Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out a lot. So hit that subscribe button. Today we're going to be making a resin trinket dish and I'm going to be using some chameleon mica powders from Let's Resin. So let's jump in and get started. I'm going to be using this gorgeous violet chameleon and I'll link these down below if you guys want to check them out. So what I'm doing is actually just taking a little makeup brush and I'm going to dip that into the mica powder here and paint it just around the edge of my silicone mold. And um, I'll also link this mold down below in the description box too. It's a super pretty sparkly faceted little trinket dish mold um, and it takes about five ounces of resin to fill it up all the way. So I'm just going to keep going in and dipping into that mica powder and adding it along the edges just on the perimeter and you want to kind of pick it up and um, just double check and make sure you get full coverage um, on your little sec sections that you want to do your mica powder on. Just like this, kind of pick it up and just double check and make sure that there's good coverage on the spots of the mold where you want the mica powder to be. So I'm just going to keep finishing or keep adding my mica powder here and finish this up. So here's how it's looking. I got it all finished up and now we're going to do this Lorez Black Pearl Mica Powder and Pinata Black Alcohol Ink. I added that into my five ounces of clear resin here and I'm using the Floral Epoxy from the Epoxy Resin Store. I had never tried this resin out before and I really like like it. It doesn't have any bubbles and it's a super thin viscosity. It reminds me a lot of the liquid diamonds, but it's even thinner than liquid diamonds. If you guys have ever tried liquid diamonds, um, then you know that that stuff is really, really a thin viscosity resin. And this floral epoxy is even thinner than that. So I was excited to try this resin out. Um, I'll link it down below if you guys want to check it out too. I have a 20% off coupon code. It does take longer to set up and it's a three to one ratio epoxy. So um, I actually waited 72 hours to demold this because it sets up really slowly. And that's pretty much it. I just covered it up with upside down storage containers so no dust or debris got in there. Um, and then here we are ready to demold it. I was so excited to see how this one turned out. Those chameleon micas are just gorgeous. I'm so excited to try the rest of the colors out. I just love the violet. Um, my plan for this one was to add the black and then a little bit of clear in the center, but I mixed up too much black, so I just ended up filling the entire mold with black epoxy. But you could use this for like a little um, ring trinket dish or anything you want really. It's just such a pretty mold. The little um, sections on the inside are faceted, so it's just really sparkly and beautiful. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And as always, I'll link all the materials I used down below in the description box. I hope you guys are all doing fantastic, and I will see you soon for another video. Bye, guys.